Hello, it's David again at uh, PeelyWildGraphics.net and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how you can install a WordPress plugin that will allow you to use the graphics on your WordPress website. Now what I've done here is I've created a demonstration WordPress site just using the basic uh, default installation of WordPress and I've added a graphic in there um, and then a little bit of information about the corner peel itself. Now as it says here this uh, is just an example page and the plugin that we need to use is called Page Peel and can be found by searching the WordPress.org plugins folder. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do just that. So what I need to do is get to my dashboard, my WordPress admin page so wp-admin here we go I just need to type in the name of my user which is peel demo and my password and that should take us to our dashboard so here we are at the dashboard and now we're going to go to to the plugins menu option and there's already two plugins set up as default within um, a, a new WordPress installation but I'm interested in adding a new plugin so I shall click here on the add new button and there is a search box where we can search for the plugin name I'm going to search for page space peel search for the plugin and it comes up it's the very top one it's called page peel um, you can see by it's by Nemanja Avramovic and it's version 0.3 this is the one that you need to download so I'm going to click on the install now and WordPress asks if you're sure you want to do this say OK and then I need to fill in some FTP connection details so local host the name of my user and then the password and then click on the proceed button and this should go and find the plugin download it extract it and install and it's done there we go now I can activate my plugin so I'll click on this activate plugin link it goes back to the plugins page and I can see here that page peel is in fact activated now I need to enter details into the page peel WordPress plugin to get it to work so if I just scroll down my screen here right down at the very bottom on the left hand side under the settings menu there is page peel options so I'm going to click on that and there's three options the first option is where we're actually going to uh, <coughs> sorry the first option is with the destination of where you want to send your visitors lost my thread there um, and I'm going to again send people to clickbank.com the second option is where is the small image graphic file that you want to display and the third option is where the big image graphics file is that you want to display now the important thing to know here is that these files must be in a location on your web server it won't pick them up from your local PC you must have them installed in some folder some on your web server whether that be an image folder or some other location now what I've done is in the previous video when we did the standard install for the peel script I created a folder called demo and I loaded two graphics files up to that folder so I can use those as my reference uh, to enter here so if you look here I've entered peelawayadgraphics.net slash demo and then the name of my small image which is cornerpeel1.swift and then for the large one, same location, and I used add1.swift. 
and I'm going to update my options and it's updated. So now all I need to do is I need to go to my demo page itself I can do here WordPress corner peel demo click on that up comes my demo page again same page but this time on the right hand side you can see the page peel graphic displaying nicely and if I mouse over that it shows like once again my large graphic and clicking on that takes me to Clickbank which is where I told it it had to go and that's all there is to it thank you I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for listening